Let me start by wishing you all the very best for the festive season. I really think we can move forward into 2019 with a sense of hope that in spite of a couple of difficult years, things are moving our way. We end the year in a completely different place to where we started it. At the beginning of 2018, a people's vote was little more than an idea on the fringes of politics. Now it is dominating our national debate, with the Prime Minister forced to tell us daily why she doesn't agree with the idea. Protesting too much like this is a clear sign that the people's vote could be coming soon. A people's vote offers the easiest, fastest and fairest way out of this shambles. This time, the referendum will be based on the facts and the reality of Brexit. A clear choice between the Prime Minister's deal, the only real deal on offer, or remaining in the EU. Greens were the first party to call for a vote at the end of the negotiations. Right through 2017, we called for a vote on the final deal, what we called a ratification referendum. This year, the People's Vote campaign took up the baton and ran with it. By October, the idea was so popular that it drew 700,000 people to the streets of London in the biggest demo in the city since the Iraq war, and I was very pleased to be there myself. I've been immensely proud of the way Green MP Caroline Lucas has become the figurehead for the People's Vote, with the campaign choosing her to champion the idea on TV debates and panel shows. It has been agreed by people across the political spectrum that she's won these debates hands down. And right across Europe, commentators are saying that Greens are looking like the only adults in the room. As we spend time with family and friends, I hope we will be able to discuss the question of Brexit with respect and an ability to listen. I really don't think the country is as divided as people say. We are a compassionate country. We all want our health service funded properly. We are all shocked to see so many homeless people sleeping on our streets. Some of us believe that leaving the EU would solve these problems. I believe passionately that it could only make them worse. But Christmas is also a time to forget about our troubles, to forget all about Brexit for a few days and to celebrate and relax. I know I'm going to enjoy my time away from social media, but I'll be coming back refreshed and ready to campaign for and win a people's vote, a vote that keeps us members of the European Union.